thank you for coming in and seeing me on such short notice, Mr. Roper. My pleasure. His name is Thomas Carter. He's a business rivalry of mine. As with any business and any supply line, there is a producer and a final distributor. Over the past three years, I've been buying out all the other links of the chain that connect these two points. And now, there's only two, Carter and myself. If the supplier sells directly to me, I can double my profits and control the prices. I offered to buy Mr. Carter's operation in order to avoid any more unpleasantness, but he declined. That's where a private investigator like you comes in. I need you to look into Carter. Follow him if necessary. Watch his every move. Get me something, anything, that I can work with to put the option of a buyout back on the table. Illegal behavior, an affair, an addiction, an overdue library book. Well, that's hyperbole, of course, but anything. Blackmail? Will that be a problem, Mr. Rockwell? Not at all. My fee is $75 a day, plus expenses. Of course. Paid in cash directly to you, not to an account. Everything is arranged. Still a bit wary of the bank since the crash, are we? Well, I can't say I blame you. Very good, Mr. Rockwell. Here, take my card. The office number is on the back. Call me day or night. Any time you have something. Thank you very much, Mr. Beecher. Thank you, Mr. Rockwell. And I'll be in touch. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Peter, we'll see you out. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Telephone for you. Thank you, Peter. Hello. Yeah, it's Rock. Ah, oh, Mr. Rockwell, good of you to call so soon. What have you found out about our friend, Mr. Carter? Well, he's not a legitimate businessman, for one. When I started looking into his business, I discovered some irregularities with the shipping manifest. 80 tons worth of automobile parts getting shipped from New York and only 60 tons arriving here. I'd wager a lot of merchandise is being taken off the ships somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean and being shipped somewhere else. Also, I paid a visit to his company's offices. The receptionist there told me that they were all out to lunch at 10 a.m. at the coffee machine. I noticed it was never plugged in. This is not a real office, it's just a front. From what I could find out, he seemed to be involved in some sort of trade war with another operation as big as his, also illegal. Shouldn't may take much to figure it out. Only one company I can think of with the revenue and capital to be involved in this sort of... Please finish your thought, Mr. Rockwell. No. No, it's nothing. Never mind. At 2 o'clock p.m. today, Mr. Carter is expected to pick up the contents of a safety deposit box at La Banque de Général du Port, number 2275. 
I'd be very interested in knowing what's inside of that box, Mr. Rockwell. Perhaps even a hundred dollars bonus worth of interest. Yes. Yes, thank you, Mr. Beecher. I'll be there. Goodbye. Actually, Peter, dial Mr. Black for me, please. Right away, sir. Thank you. Hello. Yes, I have something that needs to be taken care of right away. We're experiencing unexpected problems with the buyout. It needs to be taken care of the old-fashioned way. I understand the risks. That's why it's a secondary option. There's something else I'll need you to attend to. Someone who knows too much. Hey, John Rockwell? Yeah. Flowers? Came with a card. 